We're going over to LA now, and Carl Schmidt has all the Hollywood gossip for us. Move over, Harry Styles. Who's Taylor Swift dating now? Morning, Carl. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Alan. Good morning, everyone. Yes, well, they are never, ever getting back together again. And how do you get over Bret heartbreak? Well, if you're Taylor Swift, you move on to the next guy, and that guy would be British singer Ed Sheeran. Now, he was in her hotel room until 4 a.m. the night before the Brits and was seen the next day doing the walk of shame in the same clothes from the night before. It's not the first time these two have dated either. They secretly dated back in March of last year. It was all quiet. They cut it off because they wanted to focus on their careers. Well, it's all back on. And guess what? They'll have time for their romance to blossom. He's opening for her tour March through September. So I wonder, guys, will there be a breakup song released sometime around September 30th? 30th, maybe? How very cynical of you. Uh, now then, uh, other news. Simon Cowell has announced uh, a new global talent competition. Uh, tell us more. Oh, yes. Well, he's taken over our TVs and our radios. Now he wants to control our internet. Simon Cowell has made an announcement that he's organizing an online uh, talent show through YouTube. Take a look. Everything means nothing if I Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to the U Generation. Wow. So there you go. It will be called the U Generation, you just heard there. And it seeks online entries from unconventional to original talent. So you could be a you could be a photographer, a makeup artist, a magician, even a chef. The way it's gonna work is auditions will be in a different category every two weeks, and then it kicks off next month goes for a year. It'll be available in 15 languages in 26 countries, guys. Sounds fascinating. Yeah, it does. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about Simon Cowell coming into my bedroom. Cyberspace. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know. Through a I hole in the up. wall. <laughs> no. no. Beyonce in hot water again. What's going on? I know. Poor Beyonce. First she gets in trouble for lip-syncing at the presidential inauguration. Then she's in trouble at the Super Bowl for wearing an outfit made out of iguana and python. Now she's upset the animal rights people once again after rocking a new pair of trainers. Get this, they are made out of crocodile, stingray, ostrich, cow and anaconda. Don't worry though, no reports at the moment that there's any horse involved. Who would think you could get so many animals in a pair of trainers? But Peter are up in arms, of course, and rightly so. She's practically wearing a zoo on her feet. Crikey, yeah, yes, that is going to upset a lot of people. Absolutely, you'd want to wear them. I don't oh, know. thanks very much. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much.